Tropical storm Idalia formed Sunday in the Gulf of Mexico amid warnings it could slam across Florida's shores as a hurricane, dropping up to 18 inches of rain on a region battered less than a year ago by historic Hurricane Ian. Ryan Truchelot, chief meteorologist at Florida-based Weather Tiger, says there are warning signals that Idalia could reach major hurricane intensity minus sustained winds of at least 111 miles per hour for Category 3 status minus and that it would be naive to ignore them. More damaging and less damaging outcomes remain on the table, said Truchelot, who provides forecasts for the USA Today network. But the eastern panhandle, Big Bend and west-central Florida coasts are at serious risk of surge, wind and rain impacts from a potential major hurricane landfall Wednesday. AccuWeather said several inches of rain could trigger inland flooding in low-lying areas beginning as early as Tuesday in central and northern Florida. Wind gusts of up to 60 miles per hour are likely in much of northern and central Florida with gusts of up to 80 miles per hour along the Florida Gulf Coast. A high risk for impact was centered around the Big Bend region of the Gulf Coast linking the Panhandle and Peninsula, AccuWeather said, warning of life-threatening damaging winds, torrential rain and storm surge flooding, as Idalia closes in on the state, gaining strength as it sweeps across high water temperatures in the Gulf. The storm could prompt travel problems, and significant airline delays, are possible for flights in and out of the region Tuesday to Wednesday, AccuWeather said.